powerful from the standpoint of money. They, yeah. They're not taking anybody. Right. Russia's not taking. Nobody's taking. We're supposed to take. We have to straighten out our own problems. You have millions of people, potentially. And if Obama would have gone across the line that he drew, the artificial line in the sand that he drew, you wouldn't have this problem in the first place. So there you go. There you go. That is that is him now starting to basically backtrack. Obama said the line was chemical weapons that ISIS slash Al Qaeda used. The line was our government and the neocons and John McCain, the Republican leadership that you love so much. Donald Trump. The line was putting ISIS in control to begin with and now defending him and protecting him. And we're going to cover that after we take some phone calls. This is a short segment. Let's get one call in now. Stephen in Florida, you're on the air. Welcome. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, Alex. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say as far as uh, did it, <laughs> my mind just blanked out. No, that uh, happens to uh, me sometimes, yeah. too. Right. Okay, no, about... Okay, here's the thing with everything that's going on that you cover so, you know, accurately. I am really frustrated as a Christian. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I've been saved for over 36 years. And I am so frustrated because the people that should be the most awake and the most aware, and I have to say this, seem to be the most brainwashed and zombified, and that's the Christian. Well, that's because the World Council of Churches and National Council of Churches and 501c3 turned them into government organs where government think tanks and private groups, think tanks, write the theology for all the major denominations. The Pope basically is, is like the world communist leader now. Uh, and I heard Christians calling into a local talk show yesterday. I was listening to the news, and they were like, follow Romans 13, do what they say. Preachers should marry gay people. The Bible doesn't say anything against it, blah, blah, blah. Well, it does. But regardless, they were saying that woman should be in jail. Doesn't matter. Christians do what they're told. That's a giant Romans 13 pacifier when all Paul did was say no to the government and ended up being killed for it with the rest of the disciples. I mean, was there any disciple that didn't get killed for not following the state's orders? This is inverted reality with stupid, fake Christians sitting in there uh, loving all of this, okay? So you could tell the average Methodist or even the average Baptist now to come to Sunday school, the government legalized roasting aborted fetuses, and they would eat barbecue baby. And I'm not joking. They'd say, the state ordered me to eat barbecue baby. I'm going to do it. There's nothing they won't do. Uh, so you made a great point. That's because these aren't churches. These are 501c3 government whorehouses. Anything else, Stephen? Yeah, I just wanted to say, I think the major factor in why so many Christians are so out of it and don't want to believe what's going on because they believe in this fake pre-trib rapture theory, as I Stay call Stay there, it. I'm going to come back to you, absolutely. Yeah, a total cop-out, a reset button, like it's the edge of tomorrow. There is no reset. I've read the Bible. A five-year-old could understand it. You go through the tribulation, cowards. Coming up in the next segment after I start going to your calls, and I'll go back to calls. Hungry to declare a state of emergency over immigration crisis? You mean the invasion or the migration? Hi, neighbor. I'm moving into your house. I'm migrating into your home. Hey, your wife's pretty good looking. I'm going to migrate into your bed. I like your bank account. Can I migrate into it? Because Europe says you're going to house the illegals, you're going to pay for it, but no precious Arab state will take it. And then we have the uh, precious little migrants with a liberal trendy. They're giving them donations of food and money from an aid group, and they just steal the entire bag. Ha, 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 ha. Wait you get mugged by your precious gods. So that's all coming up. French security detects ISIS terrorist in refugee camp. That's all coming up. I want to look at the imminent fall of Hillary. It's certainly ripe for it. Just a three, four weeks ago, we weren't sure, but it appeared possible. But Steve, and then we'll go to Jared, Kevin, Roger, Allen, and others. Steve, if you just joined us, got cut off on the break, and he brought up a really good point. He believes it's the post-tribulation or, or pre-tribulation rapture, pre-tribulation rapture, that's before Christ comes back, 
that is the ultimate reason Christians aren't politically involved anymore. And in 1776, the war against the corrupt British crown, an empire never defeated by Spain or France or anybody else, not Russia, not the Dutch, no one. England would win wars, you know, two to one. Well, they were outnumbered two to one. Never defeated, but defeated by a very small force led by the Black Brigades. Because in those days, all the priests, whether they be uh, Presbyterian or Methodist or Baptist or Catholic, wore black. Many of them wore white collars. That was the uniform. And it was the Black Brigade that really was the heart. And so around that time, you can go back to after the war, the British and others began to fund a movement to put out the idea through different Masonic channels. And I'm not bashing Masons, but that's the channels they use. You can look this up. Through really Baptist groups to promote a pre-tribulation rapture. Now, Eshak and all the rest of those folks and the lion's den and the fiery furnace and Jesus Christ and the prophet that said he was coming, John the Baptist, and almost every other prophet or disciple were boiled in oil, crucified upside down, heads chopped off, tortured to death, stoned to death, flayed to death, beaten to death, burned to death. But we're told that that's not the case now. We're told now that there is a transponder teleporter up on a giant Enterprise spaceship with Scotty and with Captain Kirk and Spock is there, and they sit there and teleport people up so they won't have to face any evil. And so and I don't care what church you go to, the big mainline ones can be Catholic, whatever, can be Protestant. It's, and we're all going to be teleported out of here before anything happens, and airplanes are all going to crash, and all this stuff's going to happen. And I'm not attacking people that push that today. They're well-meaning. But it comes out of the doctrine, just like Romans 13 out of context, to say submit to what the government does. No, Christ was smart when they wanted to stone him. He said, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. You know, who is it on that coin? And the Pharisees say it's, it's Caesar. It's his system. You got an American Express card, you're under American Express's rules. You got a Visa card, you're under their rules. You're in my house, you're under my rules. So render the things to Caesar that are Caesar's. To God, give what's God's. And they put at Bible getaway above it, submission to governing authorities. That, that's not in the Bible, though, those terms. It is out of context. It is a total fraud. Well, well, then why did the early Christians not do what Nero said and worship Baphomet? Worship Saturn or Zeus or Bacchus or Janus. I mean, any idiot knows that Romans 13 is out of context and a complete fraud. Or Christ broke the rules when he didn't submit to the Roman and Jewish authorities. And so did Paul. I mean, it's just on its face ridiculous. But people are taught 2 plus 2 equals 5. And that raising the debt limit doesn't raise the debt limit. And that you didn't build your business. And that Obamacare is free. I mean, it's all lies. And I hear these fake Christians calling to these radio shows. You feel real satisfied repeating a talking point about just do what you're told. Marry the gay person. Well, why don't you use the word homosexual? Again, I don't have anything against, quote, gay people, to use that term. I have a problem that they first say, use the term gay, be nice to me. Well, why do you get the word happy, beautiful, green day? Happy, beautiful, sunny, it was a gay day. He was a gay lad, which means happy, joyful. People are like, come on, be nice. Call them what they want to be called. Okay, well... You know, I want to be called, uh, you know, Rumpelstiltskin. Okay, we don't want to hurt your feelings. You're Rumpelstiltskin. Or I want to be called a toaster. Now in England, they arrest you if you use the word homosexual. I mean, I'm not joking because groups say it's hateful. Well, now the word boy and girl is hateful. 
or man or woman or husband or wife. And so it's the same thing where language is now being dictated to us and being controlled. And if you'll follow the edict of using the words someone else says, like there's a politically correct movement of ignorance where they say don't use the word Negro. And I've heard of the stories of people when they order at the bar, I want a Negro Modelo. That just means black in Spanish. People get mad. What's that, the N-word? And this is people looking for the racism everywhere, but right above them is the big Planned Parenthood mothership sworn to kill every black person they can get their hands on. Oh, that's okay, because they're in the black community and they care about us. Jesse Jackson said so. So I will use the word Caucasian. I will use the word Negro. I will use the word homosexual or heterosexual. Caucasian just means Caucasus Mountains. It's just ridiculous. It has nothing to do with anything. It's total mindlessness. It's like if I call white people white and black people black, it has nothing to do with anything. Buckley had a really funny image. I told him to give it to me. I forgot to get it and tweet it out. Buckley, if you'll give that to the guys and tweet it out, maybe we should tweet the idea that all non black labs be banned because they're obviously racist because they're golden or they're white or they're chocolate. But it says black labs matter and next to it, all labs matter. There it is. I mean, it's the exact same dog. They just got different hair, man. And it's the same idiocy. It is the same absolute mindless moron behavior that the Democratic Party won't even say that all lives matter and has apologized twice for, for different Democrats saying, no, all lives matter. No, all lives do matter. And if we don't think all lives matter, then none of our lives matter. But the rapture is a fraud. There's the battle of Armageddon. Christ comes back. The dead in Christ are raised. And then those living spend a thousand years with Christ here on earth. That's what the Bible says. And they've got it that there's a teleporter machine. Whatever. Let's just say God the devil isn't real for the sake of argument. I'm going to fight putting fluoride in the water. I'm going to fight aborting babies and selling their body parts. And I don't care if twiddly D and twiddly dumb preachers get up there on television or in front of their crowds and follow their 501c3 and give their government script. Stephen, uh, finish up your points, brother. Thanks for holding. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, yeah, I just want to say this, okay? I bring up different points to Christian about what a, a Planned Parenthood's been doing, and how you've shown that they're putting DNA and baby parts in the vaccine. Uh, you know, what's happening with Christian business owners around the country, like Aaron and Melissa Klein up there in Portland, Oregon, or Baron L. Stutzman in Washington, that the sodomite community is going after and using the government to do it. And now this woman, Kim Davis, in Kentucky, this county clerk, the point I make is that when I bring these things up, the automatic response, and it's like Pavlovian. Oh, it's just another sign that the Lord's return is imminent, and he's going to split that eastern sky, and we're all going to be out of here. And I'm trying to tell them that the exact mentality of Christians in America today is where the church was at in 1920s Germany prior to Hitler taking over, and they got wiped out. The same thing happened in Korea and Vietnam. The church got wiped out there when the communists came in because they were not doing what the apostles admonished the church in the first century, and that was if you're going to follow Jesus Christ, you will be persecuted, and you're not going to escape what's coming, so you might as well just reckon with it and stand for what's true and preach the gospel, come what may. You may be fed to the lions in the Colosseum, but you have eternal life. But these people in America today, Alex, for the most part, they're scared to death. They don't want to suffer. They don't want to live their lives now like they say they do and i've been telling everybody this go to chuck baldwin's site and read these articles he's written like what a race and the uh collapse of christianity in america i want to get him on about those articles you're absolutely right let's get him on tomorrow in fact if we can more calls coming up stay with us all right i'm gonna try to go quickly now to your calls i had one caller on for like 20 minutes i apologize but it was a really important subject and i'm gonna get chuck baldwin back on because 
any group can turn into bullies and 